guys. Uh, sorry about the lack of vlogging recently, but I had some issues with my laptop, which meant that I had no access to uh, a camera or a laptop or anything. So, new vlog, right. It, well, I'm having a new one sent on the way. Um, so, not, not, not a new laptop. Um, it turned out that the power box was playing up. Um, so that's being replaced. Should be in the post and should be in my house today. But the college have been really kind to me because they've decided that I am I am in dire need of a MacBook Pro, uh, so I can do my college work as far as film editing and general coursework goes. So yeah, I now am sitting here recording this on a MacBook Pro. I'm really happy. The whole thing, it was crazy because I was sat in tutorial as you do and then my tutor calls me out and I'm thinking oh my goodness what's going on now and he goes actually your learning support assistant wants to talk to you so she takes me up to the learning support office and she says to me right we've got a laptop ready for you um, and I was like yeah that's great that's cool, I've heard that you guys are sorting me out a laptop. Does it have all the Adobe software on it though? And they go, what do you mean? I said, well, I'm a filmmaking student, aren't I? So I'm going to need editing software. I'm going to need script writing software. So do you have this stuff for me? And they go, well, actually, we have another laptop that already has Adobe on it. So I was like, okay, cool, that's great. Oh, it's only a little laptop. Most people take it, take it back because it's so small. I was like, all right then. Um, and I was thinking, okay, right, size doesn't matter really to me. So anyway, they walk in with this tiny, tiny, tiny little bag and I'm thinking, I can see what they mean by small. But then, it was almost like an angel's chorus. Ha ha ha! Terrible singing. And they brought out a MacBook Pro, and I, that, which is obviously what I'm using now. I nearly fainted. That's how happy I was. I was like, oh my god, I have a MacBook Pro. After everything that's been going on the past few weeks, um, it's all there's light on the other side with a MacBook. The, the sad thing is I have to give it back um, at the end of the academic year. Sniff. I'm, I'm in love with it already. I love it. It's beautiful. I can't wait to bring it into college tomorrow and just sit there tappity tappity tappity. Which means basically I'm going to have my laptop at home and my MacBook Pro as well. So this is going to be fun, trying to juggle two laptops, but what do you know? I'm I, I can do this. I can do this just because it's a MacBook. I'm so happy. Um, Josh isn't not very impressed. He's not an Apple fan. Whilst I, Apple is a way of life for me because I'm a film student, so obviously I use Macs all the time. So having a MacBook Pro with all the software on it that I would use at college is it's ideal extremely ideal so thanks South Downs College I love you I love this laptop it's beautiful and the webcam's so much nicer anyway the only bad thing is, is obviously I can't upload directly to YouTube so I'm going to have to use QuickTime and then save the file and then upload the file so it's gonna be rather weird but I've pretty much got it handled now because I tried to do a vlog earlier with a uh, photo booth but that wasn't going to work. Oh no! Because YouTube doesn't like those files. So I was sat there scrambling trying to figure out what else to use and I thought... Then I was reading through the help guide and I was like, QuickTime can record? Oh yeah. Yep, so here I am, sat in the connections room what used to be connections, which is basically like a support service for young people aged 16 to 25 in Hampshire, um, for anything from getting a job or getting to like places of education to mental health and all the rest of it. I've, I heard that they used to give out condoms. I haven't seen any in here. All we have is just old uh, student union t-shirts that nobody uses anymore. Loads and loads and loads of staff lanyards. Um, I'm going to show you now the difference between Hang on. 
Still one. Between a student lanyard and a staff one. You'll bear with me a minute. Right. Now you will understand the injustice that we have for lanyards. Student. Bright green. Member of staff. A nice, lovely black one. You can see that the principal doesn't like us very much. It's either she doesn't like us very much, or she thought, you know what, students like flashy colours. They've got flashy colours in their hair, which means they're going to like flashy lanyards. No. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave my uh, student liaison officer to rant about the lanyards. She, she's got loads of things to rant about. It's great. You'd have thought she'd be like, oh yeah, college is great, college is great. But no, she's ranting all the time. I love it. I love it. Anyway, so yeah, I failed NaNoWriMo. I failed. <sighs> Basically what happened was a laptop packed up, the storyline packed up, and, you know, 15k isn't bad in a month with everything that's been thrown at me, it's like, I'm like, right, I'm going to write a novel in a month. Then the gods decide, actually, we're going to put as much in your way as possible. We're going to throw in uni applications, we're going to throw, um, throw a bit of bereavement in, we're going to throw in some college deadlines, and we're going to throw in some job hunting whilst we're at it. So, you know, we're going to throw all these obstacles in your way. Happy writing! And there's me like, thanks, thanks universe, <laughs> thanks a bunch. So yeah, there it's like everyone else is like, oh yeah, hit 50k. Me, still on 15. No matter, there's always next year, and hopefully I'll be in better circumstances, better prepared and have a better novel idea. Because towards the end of this month, I could no longer stand my storyline hated my characters to the point where I just wanted to hit them all with the travelling shovel of death and leave it at that. There would have been a cool ending, but no, that just wouldn't work. So, um, yeah. So I found NaNoWriMo this year. Although, looking on the bright side, I that can give me more time to do my coursework and write those re church readings which are needed for Monday. Um, I've put the, them off for far too long. So I think Saturday evening, after um, after coming back from Southampton from doing a bit of Christmas shopping, um, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to start writing them all. There are five things in total. Um, faith, obviously. Um, so I might not just write about Christian faith, I might slip in some other faiths in as well just in case there are other faiths in the church, because obviously, yeah, anyway. Um, or maybe we might just talk about the faith that, I don't know, I'm just going to talk about general faith, as in the faith in having faith in the fact that things are going to be alright in the end. It doesn't have to necessarily be religious faith, per se. Oh, hey Liz! Yep, yeah. <laughs> she's thinking, she's probably just knocked to make sure I'm still alive. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, faith, I need to talk about giving and receiving of anything from presence to time. So sort of, you know when you give time to spend helping others, that's Christmassy. It's like, one thing I always do at Christmas is I will give a little bit of money to a charity that I think deserves it. So like... I see the Salvation Army like rattling their pots, I'll stick a couple of quid in. Because hey, I'm a nice person. And they actually help people. They don't just save them, but give them money, keep the money to themselves like the African governments do. So yeah, so I like to listen to the Salvation Army band and stuff. That's part of giving and sort of receiving. And the fact that you receive presents and you receive the love and the time that your family and friends have for you which I think is really nice. Um, that's two things. That's two readings. I think another one is uh, the spirit of Christmas. The fact that um, no matter how lousy your year's been, Christmas always packs it up. It's, it's like the spirit of Christmas is so positive and it changes so many lives. 
from charity, being charitable, to being honest, and to just being loving, really. Um, obviously, we've got. We're, I'm writing like a reading for a wise man to read. So he's going to be travelling up to Bethlehem. So he's so up for that one. I'm going to be talking about sort of the effort you make at Christmas. So it's sort of like the stress you might go under to prepare yourself for travelling up to see family at Christmas. Because, I mean, if I was still travelling up to Scotland for Christmas this year, then, yeah, I would be running around like a headless chicken right now, round right about now, frantically thinking, how many packs of thermals am I going to need? Um, should I can't pack too many because that will make me seem wimpy. You, you know, how many... Do I need to buy a tin of biscuits for everybody? Um... I need to make a good impression, blah, blah, blah. But obviously, no, we're staying down blighty this year. So, um, so obviously, we're going to make do with that sort of stuff. But you still make an effort to... Because I'm still making the effort to travel over to Josh's this year. So I guess I can relate to that one a little bit. But it's like, you know, the effort you make to see people and spend time with them. So that's going to be the wise man's reading. And I think the last... I think, um, so I think, oh, I don't think we're, re I'm going to write, I'm just going to say to Chris that there's no point me writing the Father Christmas or the Noel or whoever he is um, reading because I like the fact that without the reading he just says sort of Merry Christmas and all the rest of it and I think that would be a decent way to close it because I would already have shoved loads and loads and loads and loads of, um, thoughtful words into the service already. The funny thing is, I'm playing one of the characters, I'm playing Explorer 3, um, but even so, it's really funny, when you look through the script that he's written, it's a really good script, really cheesy Christmassy script, you can't go wrong with a cheesy script that children are going to laugh at, but oh my god, I think there's only, what, two official carols in the entire service. All the rest of them are just like... I think there's a Let It Snow. Um, oh, I wish it could be Christmas every day. And I think there's another two that aren't even carols. And I'm just like... I'm reading through this and I said to him, I was like, hardly any of these are actually carols. You might as well just call it a Christmas singing service. But anyway. But the bright side of it is that um, one of the charities that's really close to my heart is going to be getting some money out of this. Um, I brought the, obviously I've mentioned it before, but we're going to be giving some money to Special Effect this year, um, which is a, ch a charity for children who are severely disabled and these people help them to be able to play computer games like the Xbox, the PlayStation 3, the Wii just general games that they wouldn't be able to play without special technology and special effect raise the money for the special technology and make sure that people can still lead normal lives and still use technology just like everybody else which I think is really important so I've been bouncing emails uh, to and from me and special effect and uh, they very kindly agreed to send us a box of flyers and a box of wristbands, 100 wristbands and I'm just thinking that's brilliant, that's really helpful because it's not a well known charity, I've only, I have only just heard about it this year when we were at Eurogamer um, but I feel it's a charity that people need to know more about it's just, it's just seeing the light in the eyes of the children who have been helped they help adults too with being able to use a computer and the internet. I think there was a case that I read about a man who was in his 30s and suffered from MS, which is, I think, is a condition that slowly degrades your muscles so you're no longer able to move, which obviously means he's no longer able to use a normal computer. But he, so he, and he was like the leader of the Rotary Club, so obviously he wasn't able to run the club anymore and he was gonna step down as chairman, which was really sad. But Special Effect heard about it and they made sure there was some special technology for him in place to not just run the club, he can now he can now use Facebook, he can now use Twitter and 
YouTube and all these other things and it's really, really amazing. Oh my god, I've been talking for 15 minutes. <laughs> and I'm only, what, halfway down my script? Oh my god. But anyway, so yeah, it's a really important charity and I think that's where my Christmas donation is going to go this year. It's going to go to Special Effect. Um, which is really nice. I think I'm going to stick a fiver in or something. I don't know. Any money I have to spare because I am quite poor, which is why I'm job hunting. Um, so the only other scouting thing really left to worry about after the carol service is gang show. I'm carol singing next... Oh, is it this Sunday? Must be this Sunday then. If I check my calendar, I must check the calendar. Hang on. Where's the calendar on this thing? Hang on. Oh yeah, it'd be on the date, wouldn't it? Uh, open date and time preferences? No, that can't be right. Oh no. 30th. Come on. I just want to look at the calendar. Yeah, it's going to be on the... S oh no, so I've got to remember to pack my scout uniform this week. So I guess I can apply for a game. I'm just going to remember to take a CV with me when I go off carol singing. Great stuff. Yay. So yeah, that's my weekend sorted, I guess. Better not make any plans on Sunday. Hmm. So yeah, carol singing Sunday, which would be quite fun. Um, me and Sam will have a laugh. I mean, Doc. Sorry, Doc. Uh, yeah, Doc and I are going to have a huge laugh, I bet as will probably me and some of the other members of the gang. So if, if anyone lives in the Gospel, Portsmouth, Fairham area and would like to come and say hi to the gang show, then pop on down. We'll be op opposite the body shop. So hear us sing and give us a few pennies towards the show and take a flyer um, and book some tickets because it'd be really nice to see some people, fingers crossed, that because I think a couple of my friends have, what said they'll come and see me which would be quite nice. Um, but I'd like a few more. And if I know that some people from on YouTube will have been driven to come and watch, then even better. I'll be really happy. Um, but if you, like, I don't know, want tickets, then I guess just leave me your email address or whatever. I don't know. I'll find some way of getting hold of me. I might put my email address on the bottom of this down there. I might not. Um, or even just comment on my blog that you'd like to see it and I'll obviously email you the details. So yeah, that'd be quite cool. Um, so yeah, other stuff, other stuff, other stuff. UCAS application! Yay! So yeah, I finally, like two days before the deadline for handing them all in, have handed it in. I handed it in yesterday, my hands were like that. I was terrified. <laughs> But yep, the ones I've applied to are Bath Spa, Coventry, Cumbria, Middlesex and Brighton. Um, I've heard some good stuff about Brighton. I've not actually been there. I might go there just to have a look around at some point. Because, I mean, there's actually a bus from Portsmouth to Brighton, so I might hop on it one day next year or this year or whenever. So yeah, that would be quite cool. Um, the only other thing I need to really worry about is job hunting. <laughs> I've handed my CV in in so many places. So as I said, I'm going to hand a CV in to Bath, not Bath, a uh, game tomorrow on Sunday because uh, apparently they're still looking for people. Um, so I'm quite excited about that because I'd like to work for the game, although I need to swat off on my Xbox knowledge a bit more. <laughs> but anyway, so that'd be cool. And I also need to start thinking about the Christmas shopping, which is why I'm going off to one of the towns that I really dislike. I hate Southampton, it's just so crowded. It's just too busy, it's so easy to lose the other people you're with. Because I'm going with, um, I think I'm going with Josh's mum, dad and sister. So whilst Josh is at work. So I think I wouldn't be surprised if he comes up to me and goes, make sure you buy me this, this and this. And I'm like, Josh, Josh, do you think I'm made of money? Why do you think I'm looking for a job? But yeah, there's no point looking in Southampton because I'm not going to be able to... There's no point because I'll be taking the train up and down from there every day and it's just going to be pointless. So, you know, it'll be fine. It'll be cool. Um, so yeah, I'm quite... It's going to be a nice weekend this weekend of gang show and carols and writing and singing. 
I guess the only other thing I really need to think about is I think the only reason I've been given this MacBook is to progress with my coursework because I'm so behind still. Um, they've given me three weeks to get everything done. Um, so learning support going to help me, my tutor's going to help me. The rest of it's down to me. So fingers crossed. I've started up my script. Hopefully my new la my laptop will be working again so I can transfer all my coursework from my laptop to my MacBook so I can actually start on some decent work. I'll obviously vlog you guys about the progress of my coursework and hope that everything's all sorted out. Yeah, because it'll be really nice to think hopefully halfway through January I should be fingers crossed completely caught up and that will be such a lovely feeling to be back on track um, because I've been so bone idle this year with everything that's been going on um, and I think quite a few my lecturers have been quite understanding other than irksome and my tutor's been really great and learning support have been really great so yeah I couldn't I couldn't do without the people that helped me out so obviously Josh helps me out, my friends, Tim, Badger, Grant, they all help me out. Um, I've subscribed to Tim's and Grant's channels. Um, they should be in my channel somewhere, so if you see them, just press subscribe. Because I think they need a bit more support, so yeah. Um, no quote, because I can't be bothered to find one. I will start bothering eventually <laughs> just bear with me so anyway i'll see you guys later and thanks for sticking with me